Okay, yo, Bleachers, I'm just gonna get straight into it. I, this is like the fourth time I started recording this. I just didn't know how to make the damn video. But this is gonna be like um, how to set up your own micro server, which is mainly for co op reasons, like to play with your friends and have a small group of people into the server. If you want to have a larger group of people, you're gonna have to put it in more RAM, and that means you're gonna have to go into more complex details. Just gonna be, this is just gonna be a simple way to do it. So first things first, you gotta port forward your ports. You gotta set up port forwarding, and the way to do that is um, to go ahead and type in one nine two point one six eight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Don't mind <laughs> it's just a joke. Okay, so what is this gonna do is um, it's gonna let you go into the your ISP like site where you can set up your own internet. Um, it's gonna ask you for a username and password, which are normally both admin or username, admin, and password. Password. If that's not the correct, the login details either contact your ISP. Or check on your router which is mostly common for them to be written there um, go ahead and log in I'm gonna blur everything I don't know why. Um, and uh, find the tab called port forwarding and access it uh, I have one already here I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it you're gonna have to go ahead and do add item protocol do it as TCP slash UDP um, remote host, leave it empty. Remote port range has to be 25565. Local host, um, you're gonna have to go ahead and go on CMD, type in IP config, and find IPv4 address and copy that one. I'm gonna go ahead and copy mine. Local port 25565 once again and do submit. Now you have successfully port forwarded. Obviously, not everyone has Vodafone internet or um, that sort of layout for. Uh, I don't know what, what to call this actually. D this layout. Every type of internet providing service has a different layout. So what you're gonna have to go, uh, what you're gonna have to do is go into port forwarding. Uh, type in port forwarding and go on to the site how to forward a port and uh, go on to the left and find list of all routers and find yours there are a wide variety of port names or ISP names um, I'm just gonna go on mine if you don't find your um, your router's name obviously you're gonna have to check by copying the names and looking up pictures I couldn't find mine so I just got into the one that mostly resembled mine so we're just gonna go on that and there are like some pictures here to show you how to access the port forwarding um, tab and then you come here and look at, at the word application and find micro server personal computer then it, it shows you how to um, forward your ports and it shows you the needed uh, whatever uh, needed numbers port like port numbers or IP numbers to be entered into the for port forwarding um, tab I know I'm messing up I'm trying to like I don't know okay so once port forwarding is out of the way which is basically the hardest thing to do out of all this you go ahead and um, go on the site MC versions Find the version that you're gonna want to use as a minecraft server I'm gonna use the latest release 1.12.1 and download the ser server jar Okay, once it's done what you want to do is um, Drag the full file Drag the file over to your desktop so you can easily access it Create a new folder and call whatever you want. I'm just going to call my Minecraft server 1.12.1 and put the file in there. Now, from here, <coughs> sorry, 
from here what you want to do is create a new text document and um, you can find this over here just by going minecraft.net and go on to menu and trial and download and you can also you can see the text you can also set up your own minecraft server click that one and you have this copy it and put it onto your notepad file and as you can see if we go on to the, this I do to the folder and go on here we don't have a file named Minecraft server 0.1.2.1 so what you do is delete that and just type in server or what the name of your file is and save as name it run the bat save us all files and save that you can close this and run run the file and it will load up and it will close by itself find the text document named eula open it up change the false to true save that and open up run again wait for it to load while it loads i'm gonna go ahead and open up minecraft Okay, in order for you to know that the server is looted up, um, booted up correctly, it says done here. So that's when you know you can join in your server. To join in your server, just go on play multiplayer, start connect, or if you want, you can add server. And the server address that is needed to be put in is your IP4V address, which we have previously used to port forward our ports. And you're gonna have to join the server. It might take a while for you to log in. But as you log in, you can see that the server has successfully been run. Oh, okay. So basically if you see if you see if it's a bit laggy or if it has like a lot of lag spikes, it is either my software which is not running correctly for some reason or for the fact that i have like really bad internet at the moment which i want to change really soon hopefully i'll get to change it so your server should be perfectly stable if you have decent internet and um friends who have also decent internet um something important to point out is for your friends to join they can choose your ip 4 v address you're, you're gonna have to go ahead and open up a new tab and um type in ip chicken jesus christ ip chicken go on to the site and um now if i were you i wouldn't share that address is gonna pop up once you load up the site because that's your public um, address, and some people might might find ways to hack you from there. I'm not I'm not an expert on this. I might be wrong, but I personally wouldn't share that because I want to be safe. So you're just gonna copy that and send it to your friends, which you obviously trust, and they're gonna be able to join into your server. Now, something else that I want to show you guys is how to play custom-made maps from other people or yourself um, on your server what you're gonna do is I'm gonna close up minecraft and I'm gonna close the server now to close the server what you're gonna have to do is type in slash stop so for it to be closed correctly and no files will be corrupted and it will close on by itself now I'm just gonna take this map as an example I'm gonna copy it and paste it onto the server folder then what you're gonna have to do is delete the folder named world rename the recently put folder of the map and rename it to world and you're gonna be able to run the server and join in on the server with the newly made map and okay as you can see server has booted up successfully 
you can go ahead and join it now this might take a while for it to load as there are more complications with um, custom made maps um, than normal maps which is kind of obvious there we go we're on the server um, this might be laggy or there might be a lot of frame drops obviously if you know that the map you're gonna be using has a lot of use for command blocks what you're gonna have to do is close the server if it's open and there we go um, access the file named uh, server which has properties as a type of it open up the file with notepad find the text enable command blocks and change it from false to true and save that and that will and that will let you to um, correctly run and play the map that's all you need to know it's really simple i know it's a bit complex or like the port forwarding part might be a bit tricky for some people but it's actually really simple if you just stay calm and don't be afraid that you might mess up everything you won't i guarantee you that and um anyways i just want you guys to know if any of you have any problems i might be able and i will try my best to help you fix them all you have to do is um send me a message um on steam i will leave my username you can add me i i like to have a lot of friends on steam um, or you can comment down below what your problem is and I will be sure to reply really fast and soon as possible So yeah, that's an easy way to make a Minecraft server. No complications and no like It's free the the, the best part of it is that it's free so yeah that was an easy way to To sum up this video is just a way to help People that don't know how to set up their own Minecraft server to play with friends. That's just a, this is just a simple and fast way to do it. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it for others to see, because this might be a helpful one. And um, don't forget to drink some bleach. I know I'm happy. I don't know why the f I'm happy. So yeah, let's go.